Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you are new here, my name is Nishita. I would love for you guys to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some of my recent uh, favorite beauty products. So these are the things that I've been, you know, uh, currently using and I'm really impressed with the products that I'm going to talk about right now. So yeah, let's jump into it. First, I'm going to talk about the skincare stuff that I've been really loving and that has been really working for my skin lately. First is a moisturizer. It is from the brand Dr. Jat. It's their Water Fuse Ultimate Hydrogel Moisturizer. It claims to deliver long-lasting moisture in skin, visibly brighten skin complexion and it does that. Like uh, the reason that I opted for this is because it's a gel moisturizer. There are no oils. It's not very emollient. It's not a very thick moisturizer. So recently I've been having some acne issues. I don't know what is causing those but uh, like I feel like my pores are being enlarged in here and my pores are getting irritated a little bit. So these days I'm trying to stick to those products which are very lightweight and not as thick. So then I discovered this moisturizer like oh my god this stuff is amazing. It instantly brightens my skin. I like to use this during day and night whenever I just want to do a light layer of moisture to my skin. When you apply this during the night and when you wake up you can visibly see that your skin is looking much more brightened and when you apply it it kind of feels a little bit sticky and to be honest I don't mind that because I find that my makeup applies really well on top of this moisturizer because of that stickiness and even though it feels a little bit sticky to the touch a little bit tacky to the touch it doesn't transfer everywhere like you can still feel the moisturizer on your skin you can still see the results like it, it will like you know instantly brightens your skin it is very lightweight adds a beautiful hydration I'm like almost you know out of this jar yeah, that's one drawback that you will go through this product very quickly and it's not very cheap. So yeah, I got this uh, during the Sephora, like I think VIP sale or holiday sale, I don't remember. But I've been using this for about two months now and I've been in love. Like after getting this, to be honest, I'm not, you know, using the fresh moisturizer anymore because I feel like that is a little bit thick for my skin right now. But yeah, this stuff is amazing. So for the past couple of months, I've been loving an eye cream. It's the Drunk Elephant Shaba Complex Eye Serum. So the reason I decided to switch out my eye cream is because I still love the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Concentrate. That one works really well for darkness. Like I've never had like, you know, intense dark circles, but whatever little bit darkness that I had ever since I started using the Kiehl's one, it has disappeared. Like it has reduced quite a lot. But the reason I decided to try it a new eye cream is because even though the Kiehl's one does a really good job minimizing the darkness for me, it doesn't provide me with any hydration. So since it's winter, I've been seeing that my under eyes are looking a little bit drier than before. Uh, so when I use my dark shape tip concealer, those lines are really exaggerated. So I will like put up a clip here. So where you can see that my under eyes were really dry. And when I use the dark shape tip on it, you can literally see the lines exaggerated a lot more. So we all have fine lines. It's like a permanent process. There is no way to reverse that. The only way to minimize the appearance of those lines is by keeping that under eye area very hydrated. So that's why I decided to go with a good hydrating eye cream. And I've been like looking at Sephora, looking at the reviews, and I decided to go with the Drunk Elephant Eye Serum because you know, uh, I really love their glycolic night serum. So I thought, you know, I would use this eye cream as well. And I'm glad I did because I can visibly see the difference now. Like uh, even today, I'm wearing the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. As you can see the difference between that clip and right here, like you don't see the lines as much as you could see in that video because my under eyes feel much more hydrated than before. So for the rest of the winter, I'm still going to use this eye cream. And when it's summer, I'm going to switch between the Kiehl's one and this Drug Elephant one. But I've been really enjoying this eye cream and I literally see a lot of difference in my under eye lines as well. So the next product that I'm going to talk about is kind of like a rediscovery for me. This The product is not new to me or it's not new to the market. I kind of have really fallen in love with this. So it's the Lord Mercier Tinted Moisturizer with the Sunscreen 20. And recently I decluttered all of my makeup over the holidays and I kind of like saw this and it's like why haven't I been using this? It's like one of my favorite tinted moisturizers ever. So I decided to you know start using it again you know whenever I want to do like a natural makeup looks. So if you're a beginner and if you don't like the look of foundation on your skin I would say give this tinted moisturizer a try like it, it is very lightweight and it blends out beautifully so i find that the best way to apply this tinted moisturizer is 
I just use my hands. Like I just take some on my palms, rub them together and then go over my face. It just evens out my skin to really well. It still provides me light coverage, but it doesn't look heavy or cakey and it stays on for a really long time as well. And the shade that I use is caramel, which right now is a little bit dark for me. But since there's a moisturizer, once you share it out across your face, you're not going to see the color difference a lot because it kind of, you know, blends in with your skin and, you know, it adjusts to your skin tone, if you will. Uh, and this shade works really well for me. It's like one of my favorite tinted moisturizers of all time and I'm so glad that I restarted using this. Next I have two brow products that I've been using a lot these days. Uh, the first one is the Benefit Cow Brow in the shade number 4. Uh, so this is a mini size, this is not a full size. So I recently purchased the Desi Perkins Bombas Brow Kit and out of everything that came in the kit this has to be my favorite this is like a brow pomade and it's very easy to use you get this applicator and this is really good like this brush is really good so it kind of goes in here so it's like a pot so you open this and then you use this brush to you know do your brows so you will get the perfect feathery brows if you use this product even if you have like ball areas like where you don't have any hair at all you can use this product and this brush just you know do a few strokes like this and it gives you the effect of natural looking hair like it doesn't look like you applied anything i will insert a picture of me wearing this brow product somewhere here so you can see for yourself like how fuller and beautiful my brows were looking next i have a very affordable eyebrow pencil option for you guys it's the wet and wild ultimate brow micro brow pencil if you're looking for a good very affordable eyebrow product look no further like this is such an amazing dupe for the anastasia beverly hills brow is uh, so i like you know eyebrow pencils like this that has pointed edge more than like a you know slanted edge because these are easy to work with and this stuff is like what four bucks or something but it, it's amazing like the consistency of this the shade of this works really well for my skin tone i don't remember the shade off of my head but i will list it in the description box down below for you guys so this is the brow pencil that i'm wearing as you can see it looks very natural and fills in all of my sparse areas and it stays on for a really long time as well so if you're looking for a good affordable eyebrow pencil i highly recommend you check this one out next i have two eyeshadow palettes that i've been using a lot and i think are amazing one is the bh cosmetics uh, festival palette this i think was released sometime last year or the year before i don't remember but i recently purchased this from alta you know i just wanted to branch out and try more drugstore eyeshadow palettes and i'm so glad that i went with this because the you know the shades are amazing you can do so many looks with this so this is the eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I have something else on top which I'm going to talk about in a second. But mostly all the base eyeshadows is this palette. Like the mattes blend out beautifully. The shimmers are very pigmented. It's, it's like a really good eyeshadow palette which is as good as a few high-end products. The next eyeshadow palette that I have is very expensive but I feel like it's totally worth the money. It's the Marc Jacobs Scandalous Eyeshadow Palette. So you get only 7 eyeshadows in this but you pay like what $45 or something. I know it's, it's very expensive but I feel like it's totally worth the money. Like if you're looking to splurge on a good day-to-day -day eyeshadow palette, I would say give this one a try. This has become my day-to-day -day eyeshadow palette. Like I use only these two eyeshadows to create a uh, everyday smoky eye, which like, you know, instantly wakes me up in the morning, makes me look a lot put together. Uh, I've been like, th these two have been like my go-to transition shades as well. Don't get me wrong, the other eyeshadows are just as good. Like they're very good. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I prefer to go with a matte look. So that's why I've been using these two eyeshadows a lot. But the shimmers are, in this are beautiful. Like they're very pigmented. They almost don't give you any fallout at all. They're like really high quality eyeshadows. And I feel like the money you're paying for is mostly the quality because you know the quality is just top notch. So the next product that I have is the Cover FX Glitter Drop. These are actually meant for face. They're meant to be like you know your face highlighter but there is no way I'm applying glitter as my face highlighter. It's just not my thing and this particular shade might be a little bit dark for me as well. But the way I love to use this product is as my eyeshadow topper. This is what I'm wearing on top of the BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. As you can see, it just added that beautiful wet look to my eyeshadow and it just takes your eyeshadow look to another level. I got this in my boxy charm and I'm so glad they put this in the box because once I'm done with all of my eye makeup, I go in with this. Just, you know, take some on the back of my hand, use my fingers and just dab it on. It just instantly transforms my whole eye look. Just gives that nice wet appearance i absolutely love this product so next i have a lip product that i've been abusing recently it's the alme lip vibes lipstick they recently came out with a traditional bullet lipsticks 
and these are amazing they're only seven dollars but i feel like the quality of this lipsticks is on par with high-end like to be honest they're better than few high-end lipsticks that i've tried before this particular lipstick reminds me like formula wise reminds me a lot of the charlotte Albury matte revolution lipsticks and the packaging of this is really oh wait let me remove the plastic so the package of this is really pretty. You get this nice leafy print and the color here represent what color you get inside. This is the shade of Be Strong. I wanted to pick up more colors, but the colors that complemented my skin tone were out of stock. They just had samples there. They didn't have the actual product that I could buy. So I just got this color and I'm definitely gonna pick up, <clears throat> but I'm definitely gonna pick up more colors because the formula of these lipsticks is just amazing. They're very nourishing. Uh, they glide on really smooth. They don't tug at your lips. They're very creamy. They stay on for like, you know, up to five hours considering they're bullet lipsticks. They don't feather on me. They don't dry out my lips. So if you go to Ulta this time or drugstore, if you see these lipsticks, like grab a shade or two. You can see for yourself. They're really good and they're not expensive at all. Next, I have eyelashes. These are the only eyelashes that I've been wearing recently. Uh, these are the Accent Falsies from Ayur. Um... I usually use Ardell Wispies from the drugstore and these days I've realized that they're looking a little bit heavy for my eye shape. I have kind of hooded eyes so if I apply falsies that are really thick and really lengthy, they kind of cover my entire lid and so you almost cannot see any eyeshadows that I apply on my eyes. So these days I've decided to go with accent lashes and I'm so glad I did because they just complement my eye shape really well. They're just going to add some lash but still look very natural. They're not going to overpower the eyeshadow work that I do on my eyes. But but they still give that oomph to my eyeshadow look. So these are the Eyelure Accent Lashes. So if you have similar issues, similar eyes, eye shape like I do, if you have hooded eyes and kind of like if you cannot see a lot of lid space when you open your eyes, I'd say try the Accent Lashes. They kind of add lashes only on the outer edge and they don't cover your eyeshadow work because you definitely want to make sure that your eyeshadows are seen when you open your eyes a little bit. And I'm going to be honest, these are a little bit difficult to apply. So the Ardell Wispies are very easy to use whereas these one uh, these are a little bit tricky to get on your eyes since they have like a very you know thin lash band they are a little bit tricky to apply but once you apply them once you get them on they're gonna look very natural and people won't even be able to tell that you're wearing falsies so that's how good these accent lashes are so if you're a beginner if you don't have like any eyelashes at all uh, I would say give this a try because these are not like very overpowering so you can get used to the idea of false lashes by using something like this if that makes sense. So that completes this video. These are all my recent favorites that I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what is your current favorite beauty product. The one product that you have been reaching for a lot. If I haven't tried that out before, I will try it out. So let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.